The Hollywood blockbuster Avengers 2 showed on nearly 70% of South Korea's film screenings on opening, ringing alarm bells in the industry. The deluge of big-budget Western films dominating the South Korean market has caused concern among producers, critics and movie fans for several reasons. Korean movies are usually about money, love and honor, a more serious approach. But the Western and American movies we see are a lot of hero action films, and most of them show destruction and violence, which is a major difference from Korean films. I think it's unfortunate that so many Western movies come here, and as a as a result, our movies are losing their distinct characteristics and look more and more like Western movies. Small films such as Social Phobia, which delves into genuine South Korean themes concerning online behavior, struggle at the box office. The problem stems not only from the growing market share of Western films, as experts point to the transformation of the South Korean film market, which now favors big budget production. Even if movies are small and have little power, we need movies with cultural values. But with the screen quota system being reduced, the mentality behind it has also disappeared. In the end, big dinosaurs have eaten up the entire film industry, but cultural values and diversity have to be respected. The maximum quota on foreign films was relaxed from 20 percent to 40 percent of screens during free trade talks with the U.S. in 2006. One report shows that after making small gains over the past few years, 2014 saw South Korean films absorbing just half of the movie-going market. The problems facing South Korea's film industry concern not only the direct economic challenges brought on by economies of scale and globalization, but also the profusion of Western media displacing domestic grounded art, which exposes the difficulty of preserving the world's diverse cultures at the expense of corporate gain. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.